what happened here is we got some freeze and thaw damage. Some more here. It's just kind of flaking. So that's that's freeze and thaw damage right there. It just happens when you know water freezes to the surface of the concrete or inside the concrete. It expands and it pops a surface like that. It was just one little tiny area we could patch it. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning into my video. Now I did this stamp concrete a few years ago, and then. For whatever reason it got some freeze and thaw damage so we're gonna just overlay it and fix it now I'm not a big fan of trying to repair and patched and patch uh, stamped concrete although it can be done I just it's really hard to disguise it and make it look like uh, the original so it kind of looks like a patch after so we're using Decocrete stampable concrete overlay as I'll show you a little bit later in the video and we're just gonna resurface the whole thing and restamp it. Actually, a different pattern. The, the homeowner didn't really care what we did out back here, so they gave us a little bit of the freedom to do whatever we wanted. So I'm gonna just use a rock stamped textured overlay to, to fix this with when I go to put the stamp back on it. Now what I'm doing is I'm grinding the surface. I like getting all the damaged concrete off, any loose concrete, I like getting any of the sealer that was originally put on, you know, ground off, and then get it back down to really good hard concrete for the overlay to bond to. Now, if you really wanna learn how to do this, I go into a lot more depth in the concrete underground. This is one of the trainings in the concrete underground. I think the training is about an hour long video, so I share all my little tips and tricks in the trainings. Uh, we, do a, we do a ton of these overlays, so there's a lot to know. There. They, I'm gonna make it look kind of easy on the video in this video It's gonna look pretty easy to do but there's really a lot you need to know to make sure that these come out right and They don't fail on you, especially when you're repairing concrete You know, you definitely don't want to have a failure when you're trying to fix something else So the insight and all the all the wisdom and stuff is going to be shared in the concrete underground in my training video But this is this video is going to give you a really good idea of what these products are capable of doing what what's possible with these products and how they really can come out just looking like you know stamp concrete after you're done well, it took me I'm gonna say it probably took me an hour to grind this whole thing to get it to where I wanted it and I got it about I'd say about 99 percent there's a few little tiny spots here and there I didn't get but I'm not too worried about those I'm getting down in the joints now I'm um, just making sure there's nothing loose or or dirt in the joints cleaning them all out with a little diamond blade and then of course you know you want to make sure everything's good and clean whenever you do any type of repairing or overlay you want to have a, a really good surface for the patching material the overlay material to bond to and get everything all vacuumed up and then I'm actually you're gonna see how much the vacuum actually misses if you think the vacuum does a really good job um, you're going to be a little bit surprised at how much dust it leaves behind. There you go right there. See all that excess dust I missed with the vacuum? So just make sure whenever you vacuum something and you want it really clean, if, if it's possible, go over it with a blower like that. There's a little bit of residual dust left. So here's the bonding agent I'm using. It comes from Decocrete too. It's all part of their system. Mix it with a little bit of water. It's usually 50-50 when you, when you spread the bonding agent on, something like this. I'm scrubbing it in really good, getting it down into all the pores, making sure I'm completely covering everything. And the bonding agent is really a critical step in doing this and making sure it comes out right. Helps, you know, obviously it helps the material bond to the concrete, but it also helps the material from uh, getting pinholes, like little tiny air bubble holes in it when you spread the overlay over the concrete. Concrete's very porous. And in the pores is a lot of air. So whenever you put something on it that's kind of liquidy, that liquid soaks down into those pores and forces that air out. And that air just comes right up through the overlay and causes all kinds of pinholes. Here's the tools I'll be using to spread stuff out. I got a gauge rake, you know, I got a little hand trial, I got a magic trial, a rubber magic trial, and then a smoother right there to the left. Pretty essential tools whenever you're doing an overlay like this. My XO6 Collo Mix mixer here this is one of the best mixers on the market one of the best companies for mixers Colomix so 
definitely want to get one of those. Well, and we're using right here Decocrete Stampable Overlay Gray. We mix about three and a half quarts of water per bag for this. Um, I'm going to mix two bags at a time in this big bucket here, so it should get me, you know, I'm hoping for around 50, 40 to 50 square feet. that than the other half. Good body right here. Always want to scrape the side of the bucket whenever you're mixing to get the dry stuff off the sides. Make sure everything that looks like that looks like the perfect mix right there for a stampable overlay. You don't going to be stamping a texture in it anyway so just want to All right, so the bags mixed up and the overlay material, they went it went down pretty good. You can see how I got that all spread out. Probably took me, well, I don't know, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes to get all that out all by myself. And this stuff actually sets up pretty good if it's 70 degrees out, even in the shade. So again, that's why you kind of really know need to know what you're doing. The timing getting on this stuff is pretty critical. You get on it too late and it's gonna, not really show much texture you get on it too early you're going to be squishing right down through it all the way to the concrete so again i'm just using simple stone texture stamps i did add a little bit of pigment into my release agent you don't have to do that you can use just clear liquid release and then add that secondary color later on in the washing process i thought i'd just do it all at once right here it actually came out really good it all blended in you good you'll see at the end how really nice this looks and how you know the cool thing about a stampable overlay about an overlay product like this is when it does cure up when it does dry hard cures up it's really dense a lot more dense than say concrete 
and it's a, it's so it's more uh it's a, it holds up better to freeze and thaw cycles i guess is what i'm trying to say and than regular concrete does so if if you do have to use it as a repair material or if you do need to fix something that's exterior and you live in an area where you get a lot of ice and snow and freezing and thawing you know an overlay like this is a really good choice it's going to hold up really well if it's done right and then if it's sealed and then if you if you just maintain it right with you know a little bit of concrete sealer over you clean it reseal it and then you know you're going to be able to use a little bit of de-icing some sand and stuff in the winter and it's not going to damage it versus concrete you just never know it's just it's a tough concrete so porous and it, it just wants to absorb water and it's tough it's tough to keep it sealed you know and really have it shed water and keep it clean and so these overlay materials they're really good products that you know people have put a lot of time and effort in to designing them in order for them to hold up in conditions like this we live in maine and you know from the end of november to march we get a lot of freeze and thaw cycles really good texture we got good color in the release good stone texture in the stampable overlay and that's it so we're going to let that cure up we'll give it 24 hours we'll come back wash uh, off any excess release let it sit for another 24 hours put the sealer on it and then that'll be done right there that's all Not much residue really came off, but whatever came off uh, definitely would have kept, whatever did come off would have kept the sealer from bonding. So now we'll just let that cure up and dry out. It's going to be another 24 hours. We'll come back, seal it. It's going to look very similar to the way it looks wet right now when it's sealed. So have a little bit of a darkness. You can see the real good modeling. You can see what the release agent does. Release agent really gives it a two-tone effect. So we'll all right, so I'm back the next day. I'm going to put a couple coats of sealer on it. The type of sealer we use, again, that's in the concrete underground. We we have really good luck with this sealer on stamp concrete. Also, if you're not a subscriber, like if you're watching the video, you enjoy this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. I come out with a couple videos a week all about uh, flat work, uh, pouring concrete floors, slabs, stamp concrete, overlays, repairs, stuff like that. So if you like that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. If you're a return visitor and you watch a lot of my videos, thanks for coming back. Thanks for supporting the channel, watching another video. Comment down below where you're from. Um, if you really like concrete, if you pour concrete, let me know if you're like a concrete person, if you're a DIYer and you just like learning about this that's stuff. pretty cool. So that's the first coat. The stuff we use, the sealer we use dries up really quick. It's got acetone in it so we can put a couple coats on fairly quickly, like within about a half an hour of each other. This stuff's cured up. That's what I. That's one thing I really like about it. And we, we usually always put on at least two coats. Sometimes I'll even do three really light coats to finish things up. And you can see how it makes it kind of kind of gives it the wet look, makes it look really nice, and sprays on really fast, so it comes out of a sprayer really really good. Okay, that'll do it. Two two really good coats. That's your finished product right there. Stampable overlay.